What's up guys? So Ben Morris, welcome back to Call of Duty Vanguard. We are grinding out ship house 24-7, working on LMGs. We're just leveling guns. We're not getting shit gold over the next few days, just guns all the way to 70, one after the other. That's all we're trying to do. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff going on over the last few days. Uh Warzone got delayed like a week. Honestly, probably because the lawsuits and stuff. I'm not gonna speculate, but that's probably what happened. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a comment, all that stuff. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. That's honestly probably my favorite thing about making videos like uh, views and stuff cool but comments are fucking i don't know man it's, it's just cool oh that's a dog yep i knew the way he died it was a dog i'm okay we don't have to play that we're gonna stay calm today also i think it's been well over a full week that i haven't had a light in my room <laughs> so i've been using my i have a ring light over here and over here to like illuminate my room uh and not there not the most efficient, but it's what I got. Oh no, I spawned into this lobby. Oh. This is bringing me flashbacks to the stream last night. I actually spawned into a game. Like, Mid-game, I didn't let it get to that point. My entire team did before I got there, so don't blame me for this. But just like that, I died over and over and over without being able to move 50 plus times. I ended the game like 9 and 65. It was horrible. I didn't leave though. I didn't leave. I just put my controller down and let it happen because you know what? If you got me in a spawn trap like that, you deserve the kills. That shit takes me back to like the, the MW2 days, the COD 4 days, MW3 even. Do you guys remember the interchange spawn trap on MW3? Oh god, the favela spawn trap? Some of you guys were in the comments saying favela is a great map. It's still not. You're not going to change my mind. I don't care. But I remember back in the day, terminal spawn trap, bog wall spawn trap, literally dying over and over and over and over and over and over, dying 90 plus times in a row. And I... I almost never left those games because I just wanted so I, I had a personal vendetta man I didn't care if they killed me 90 times if I kill them one time off a street one time that means so much more to me it's worth it in my eyes maybe that's my problem maybe I maybe I go on too long before quitting maybe I I try too hard before I give up maybe I, I gotta just let stuff go man I gotta just Hey, that wasn't working out. I die four times without literally being able to move my feet. Let's dip from that lobby. Life lessons with Call of Duty, man. Also, guys, excuse my, like, throat. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I swear, my throat is bugging the fuck out of me. I I've given myself rules. Like, with recording videos, do not eat spicy food or dairy before you record a video. It just it fucks me up every time. It ruins my throat. I, it's bad. Sadly, those are two of my favorite foods. I love spicy food and I love dairy. I, I just, I do. And you know what I had for breakfast today? At 3 p.m.? A spicy chicken sandwich. I never learn. I just don't learn. I do the wrong thing every time. I learn from my mistakes and then I just do them again knowing that it's a mistake. I just, the only thing that changes is the awareness. I know how stupid I am now. Well, back in the day, I didn't know how stupid I was. I was in the learning phase. Now I'm in the mistake phase. OG Mudbone joined the game, nice. Whatever happened to that guy? Is he still doing work? Is he still in the field? Oh yeah, the last few days too. Um, Pokemon came out and the like 1% guys, Random, Nyx, Aeolus, and a bunch of other guys joined Ghost. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to go there. <laughs> I don't know why, uh, Ghost is a great team. I have some friends in Ghost, awesome. But I was not expecting them to go there. I don't know, it's kind of cool though. It seems like they jump around a lot. They probably just go, make a fuck ton of money, and then go somewhere else once the contract runs out, make a fuck ton of money, go, like, I don't know what they're doing. They got, they're doing something right, though. Then Pokemon dropped, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I can't, I'm full of unpopular opinions. I, the world, I grew up in a weird place, man. I grew up where the, no actually, you know what, I shouldn't even use that as an excuse. I didn't grow up in a weird place, I did, but, like, even people where I'm from don't agree with me on a lot of stuff. Maybe I'm just stupid. I was not a Pokemon kid. I, f I like Pokemon. I think it's cool. I played some Pokemon Go and stuff. Oh, spicy chicken sandwich coming back. But, uh, my brother was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. My older brother was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. So, you know what I played? I played Yu-Gi-Oh. And also, we had Beyblades and stuff for a while. So, it was Yu-Gi-Oh and Beyblades. The emo kid stuff. I feel like Pokemon... I feel like Pokemon was more happy kid stuff, you know? Uh, and I was not a happy kid. I do think Pokemon's really cool. I wish I, I wish I had gotten into it. I just feel like it's too late now. Like I'm just, I don't know, man. People have spent their whole lives playing Pokemon. They have all these Pokemon that they've transitioned from game to game throughout their entire life, and it just, 
I'm getting in I'll get into it too late and I just don't have that like child nostalgia connection you know like I didn't play with Pokemon cards growing up I, I don't really know that many Pokemon at all a lot of my generation got into Pokemon from a young age because they got to Pokemon cards and build that connection with like the the universe of Pokemon so they've just been so attached to it growing up and I just never had that like I never had Pokemon cards and stuff really growing up it was so I don't really have that emotional attachment to it. Honestly, too, I was never a Nintendo 64 kid. I played GoldenEye like once in my life, and I remember, dude, that shit was the most unintuitive controls ever. It was a blast, it was a lot of fun, but it was so unintuitive. I had a PS1, an Xbox, and a Game Boy Advance. That's what we had when I was growing up. I played monster truck games, snowmobile games, the Spider-Man game on the Game Boy, uh, Halo. That was my shit back in the day. But that Spider-Man on the Game Boy, bro, I still remember that. That was a blast. I don't even remember what it was called. I wish I could find it. I just remember the uh, fucking, the sound effects were nuts on. Okay, I think it was Spider-Man 3. I think it was Spider-Man 3. <laughs> Yeah, dude, those sound effects. I think it was. It looks so to it, bro. It literally like 15 years ago, at least. The nostalgia, bro. I remember, you guys remember how I told you I got crazy car sick? I don't care. I would puke playing that game in the car. I do not care. I was so addicted to that shit. Dude, I need to reload this shit way faster. I need like the large mag or the fast mag or something. This shit is so slow. Zach, this guy. Oh, wait. Ah, no, I always, wait. <laughs> I always type to the team instead. Oh, come on, wet Santa. Huh? Wall bags, baby! <laughs> Dude, it's so nuts, man. How loud is your TV, bro? This isn't what I wanted. I picked the wrong one. You can still pick another one. Oh, it's too late. Okay, that's enough of that. Guys, hopefully you don't mind the, like, kind of more bare-bones edits in the shorter videos and stuff lately. I'm just really trying to get through with this double XP and get as much, like, get as much shit done as possible. Because, uh, once double XP is gone, leveling is gonna suck again. So, yeah! Um, guys, genuinely have a fantastic day. I appreciate you so much. Especially if you stick around to the end of this video. If you've been watching my videos and if you're just getting here, just subscribed. If you've been subscribed for a long-ass time, just... Thank you so much. It I feel the love lately. I feel the love. Being recognized in game chat and fucking all the comments and the streams are going great. I just, ah! If this is, like, if this is what this feels like now, I don't think I'd ever be able to function if I ever hit, like, 100k or a million subs or something. Like, what would I, what would my body feel like? What does that, what does that endorphin rush feel like, you know? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Later.